Okay, Hobo. What do we do when the boys are gone for the weekend? We make it a girls' weekend. Of course. My second girls weekend with Hobo. I'll link the other vlog below. But the other one I did when I'd only had her for like four weeks, I've now had her for six months. She's so much more comfortable with us. Plus, I have so many more fun things planned this time around. So, my husband's gonna go out of town with my dog, and I actually need to go pack the bag for Buster right now. So, let's go downstairs. I'll kind of explain why they're going out of town this weekend, what my plan is, and show you some of the fun stuff I have, including this series that I'm finally going to finish after starting it two years ago. My husband was raised by his grandparents. They live about three and a half hours away from us in Southern Virginia, and he's been wanting to visit them more often so he can help them with projects around the house and things like that. But the problem is I work a lot of Saturdays, and we are having a hard time finding weekends where I don't have to work and we don't have anything going on. So we finally said, you know what? I'm still gonna go down for like big trips, like for Thanksgiving, we always go and things like that. But weekends that I'm already gonna be really busy at work, he's just gonna go ahead and go down for like a Friday night to Sunday morning trip just to help them out. I have to work at the center that I work at tonight, Friday. I'll get home around 7 p.m. and I'm gonna be there all day tomorrow. So we thought perfect weekend for him to go out of town. He always takes Buster because there's a lot of room for Buster to run and I stay at home and I don't like to be alone. So I plan lots of fun things to do because I'm not very social either. So that's where you guys come in. I don't love to be alone, so that's something that I'm working on, which is why I have filled the weekend with so many fun things, and vlogging it will help me stick to my plan, which will help me have a better weekend. So that's why you guys are coming along. So obviously, the most important thing when I'm going into a weekend alone is getting my book series secured. So I've been listening to the That Boy series, so I don't think I'll give you guys updates on that book because I'm doing a whole vlog just for that series, but that's what I'll be doing for audio. And then for my books I'm going to be reading in this vlog. I'm so excited. I read the Wedding Date series back in 2021, somehow missed the third book. I don't know how I did that. I read book one and two. I read book four and five. So I missed the third one and then I think the sixth one just came out and I didn't know that. So I grabbed both of them. That's what we're going to be reading in this vlog. I was able to get the wedding party on Kindle as well. I'm on hold for since or while we were dating. For some reason I keep wanting to call it since we were dating. While we were dating. But we'll be tackling these. But reading is not the only thing I have planned. Let's talk about what else. Like I said, I'm highly structured so... It's a lot. I bought this cup at Five Below back in April, I think, and I got romance book stickers on Etsy, and I wanted to make a specific tumbler to drink my water from when I read my romance books, and I still have yet to do it because I'm so nervous that I'm not gonna place them in the right place. So what I think I'm gonna do tonight, I'm just going to adhere them with scotch tape and then leave it overnight. When I get home from work tomorrow, if we like the placement, we'll actually adhere them and have our bookish water cup. So that's one of our activities. Another activity, you guys have seen my book journal before. I actually saw the templates in my Etsy shop, but I haven't really decorated my fall pages yet because I didn't have the right type of stickers. So I went to Michael's yesterday and I got a fall pack and a Halloween pack. So we'll do some book journaling. And then while I was there, I tried diamond art for the first time on Sunday during a football game, became obsessed, and I saw they had all of their Halloween ones 40% off. So this is a diamond art kit where it's like a witch or wizard throwing a spell and it'll glow in the dark. This was $8.99 and it is 16 inches by 20 inches. It's a huge project, so affordable. So I'm gonna be working on this as well. Side note, I went a little nuts yesterday, which we'll dive into. I went and got Buster pumpkin cookies that I can put in his weekend away bag. And then I was like, well, if I'm getting him something special, I should get her something special. So I got her this Frisky's Little Shakes. So I'm gonna blend this with coconut milk. Yeah, I'm extra. I'm gonna blend this with coconut milk and give it to her as a treat. And when I was at Five Below, I also got her this cat tumble toy. So you put treats in it and if she can figure out how to knock it over, treats will come out. So that might be a really fun engagement game with her as well. It might be a, a disaster. 
I don't know. We'll find out together. So for my other fun activities, tonight's gonna be a pretty quiet night. I am gonna pick up Wingstop on the way in from work because I love Wingstop, but we'll just do a movie and an early night. I'm always nervous I'm gonna oversleep for work on Saturdays, so I'm gonna try and go to bed early. But then tomorrow when I get off work at three, we're going to Trader Joe's and I'm getting all the apple and pumpkin stuff. I'm so excited, we'll do a haul for sure. And then Corey does not like pesto at all and I've had this really good homemade basil pesto recipe saved for a long time. So I'm gonna make myself a tomato pesto balsamic vinegar sandwich with pasta on the side for dinner tomorrow more Hallmark movies. I'm really hoping that my Olive and June order comes because I ordered some of their fall nail polish and I would love to give myself a new manicure tomorrow night or a Sunday. We'll also on Sunday do my Sunday reset, get the house clean. We're going to make some bread and a bread machine that I have. It's just going to be, I think, a really fun weekend filled with a lot of my hobbies in addition to work. So I'm going to finish packing up this bag say a very tearful goodbye to Buster because by the time I get off work, he and Corey will be well on their way. But then go to work, see my kids, come home, hang out with the cat, and get a really fun weekend alone started. So I hope you guys are excited to tag along. Let me go cry over my dog for a little bit and I'll see you later. And our girls weekend has officially commenced. I've got Hobo right here. It was so cute. As soon as she heard me come home, she came downstairs. And it's just so different from the last time when she barely knew me and hid from me a lot. She's like, hi, you're here, let's eat dinner. So I ended up staying at work an hour later than I meant to, but that's totally okay because I was getting something organized for work tomorrow and I just feel a lot better that I took that time. Plus, I kind of like working late on Fridays. It's just really quiet and like I'm not rushed at home. I'm weird, I know. But I love Wingstop and so they had this, my favorite flavor there is Louisiana Rub anyways, and they had this Cajun meal, so I got it. So in case I don't like it, I also got backup chicken and fries, you know. Tonight needs to be perfect. So I got a cherry vanilla Coke, my Wingstop meal. I'm gonna put a Hallmark movie on. It's like 7.45, already took my makeup off. And then when the movie's done, I actually might just get in bed and start my book. Because I am gonna set my alarm, not as early as normal. I get about 4.30 during the week. My alarm won't be set until 6.30 tomorrow, but it still will be nice to be asleep at like 10.30. So let's get the night going. So there's a small piece of Nicole that can read an entire book in 24 hours even when she goes to work. And sometimes the other part of Nicole is delusional and thinks that she can do that all the time. So I'm starting this book right now. The last time I started this book, it was June 21st, I posted an Instagram story. I said I will for sure read this in 24 hours, got way too busy, four days went by, had to return it to the library. So we're trying it again. My goal is to finish this by Sunday night. It's Friday night, so I'm giving myself 48 hours. I do have a second book in case I fly through this one, but I figured I should probably at least start it on Friday night, even though I'm going to bed soon, and then I'll take it with me to work tomorrow because I always like to get to work early and eat breakfast, so I'll read this in the morning, and then in a ton tomorrow evening. So I know I've read like the first 25 pages. They were at a birthday party. I'm going to try and skip to the point that I stopped reading last time. We'll see how far I get and we'll check in when I'm at work tomorrow.
I had a really good day at the center. I love working on Saturdays, but today was an exceptionally good day. And then I went to Trader Joe's. I got home at 4.30. It's now 6.21. She, just have to show you, woke up. Within 10 minutes of me getting home, came downstairs, and has been hanging out with me ever since. And that's such a big deal because the last time I did one of these vlogs, she'd only been here for four weeks, she didn't know me, and now we're like connected. So we're gonna have a girls night. I just made some pesto, so I'll, Corey doesn't like pesto, which is why I wanted to make this while he's out of town. I will link the two TikToks below that I'm following. I saved a video from Treja, uh, back in the spring, I think, where she made this like tomato balsamic pesto sandwich that looked really good, and I kept meaning to buy pesto at the store, and I never did. And then about two weeks ago, Susie did a TikTok with homemade pesto. So I will link both of those below, but I made the pesto, and I'm now just getting my tomatoes together and marinated so we can make this sandwich. I'll make a side of my spicy vodka pasta. That recipe I'll put down below as well. But our plan is just to... Put on a movie. So I have a Halbert movie that I've had saved. It's Greek to me. So I'm going to put that one on and eat dinner and start my diamond art project. It looks like my Olive and June nail polish is not going to get here. Really disappointing. I mean, it's still within the delivery window, but it's at the very end. And I live in Northern Virginia, and it's been in Central Pennsylvania since Tuesday. Made it from California to Pennsylvania in two days, and now it's stuck. So... You know, it's a first world problem. It's not that big of a deal. I might hold out and see if it comes tomorrow and wait to paint my nails. So stay tuned. I will either paint my fingernails or maybe we'll just do a pedicure tonight. I don't know. But we're just going to have a really fun night with arts and crafts, movies, yummy food, and lots of hobo time. I'm either going to make her the special treat that I got her or I'm going to put out a new toy for her or maybe both because, you know... The boys aren't here, so the girls will play. I mean, I would do all of this if Corey was here anyways. But I'm just feeling so much more confident being home alone than I even was six months ago. And the funny thing, I've actually been home alone like many times. Corey used to, you know, when our friends got married, he would go on bachelor parties and stuff. Um, he would go visit friends right out of college. So it's not that I've like never been alone, but I really have leaned into my homebodiness in the past five years. My camera just stopped recording and I don't know. Sometimes my camera does that and it's super annoying. So I don't know exactly where I was, but I was just saying, it's not like I've never been home alone. I just haven't been doing it a lot recently. I'm just, I live a very comfortable life with my husband, which obviously is amazing. Like you want your partner to be your best friend, but it's also good that I'm like learning how to be without him and without my dog. Like it's okay for my dog to go have an adventure without me. That's the weirder part being here, here without Buster, but having Hobo here makes it so much better. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get back to making my pasta, assembling my sandwich. I will show you the meal when it's ready. It's going to be a good night. I totally forgot to show you guys my dinner, so I'll insert a picture here really fast, but it was so good. So if either one of the things I told you, either the uh, pesto or just the entire sandwich sounds good, check those TikToks because they were phenomenal. And I decided that I really want to start my diamond art project, so we're going to not do a pet or a manicure because my hands need to be free. So we're going to do a pedicure, and I figured let's just go for it. So I knew I had one of these. These are like the foot mask things. So I just came and grabbed that. I want to grab a face mask to do. Let's do this rose quartz clay face mask. What else would be fun? Do I have anything else? up here that I want to use. I most often paint my nails in the bathtub, which means my feet and whole body are submerged in water. So that's why I never use things like the foot mask. So I thought that would be really fun to use. And I feel like, oh, it might be on my makeup counter. I feel like I have a lip mask that we should do as well. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull together the rest of the stuff to do my little spa night while I do diamond art. We'll paint my nails, drink some more wine, watch some more Hallmark. So let me get this all together and we'll go back downstairs.
I am absolutely loving The Wedding Party. And I feel like this is giving me a good comparison because this book is a similar basic plot to Twisted Hate, which I really didn't like. I'll link that vlog below. And I think I was able to really pinpoint why I really disliked that book because I thought it was like, oh, I don't like enemies to lovers. No, I like enemies to lovers when it is a little bit more defined. So in both of these books, enemies to lovers and they're dating in secret because they don't want the people in their lives to know that they're dating. And that book is Jules and Josh. Jules is the best friend of Josh's sister. In this book, Maddie and Theo, they each have a friend named Alexis that they're really close with. That's what pulls them together. Now, with Jules and Josh, it really just comes off as like a very childish, juvenile, like they hate each other for no reason. And I said in that vlog, they both have a little bit more of like an antagonistic fighter personality. But like the whole, like to hate someone that much for nothing just seemed dumb to me. So I, just, I couldn't get into the book. Whereas in this one, Maddie is a professional dresser. She just has an eye for fashion and accessories and people will pay her to pull their wardrobe together. Oftentimes, these are people that are in public or like on TV, like a TV anchor whose appearance really matters. They will pay Maddie to help them pull together a wardrobe that's customized to their job, their body style, their whatever it is that they need. And she's really successful at it. Theo, on the other hand, works in government. When they meet, and he's like, what do you do for work? And she explains that he, you know, shouldn't, should have been a little bit more polite, but he just was like, really? Like people, pay, like, people pay you to do that? You just, like, dress people up? She took it really personally. She felt like he was, like, making fun of her career. He just didn't understand her career. But then it kind of put a wedge between them. And every time she saw him, she was like, oh, he looks down on me because I just played dress up all day and he's got a job in the government. So then she pushes him away. And so when he sees her, he's like, oh, that's Alexa's friend. That's just rude. And that kind of is the riff. So they never really hated each other. And there was a reason why they had a disconnect. I can get behind that so much more. So I am absolutely loving this book, but here's the deal. My husband is on the way home right now. He is about probably over two hours away and downstairs is clean. I wanna get upstairs clean. So I'm gonna do a 45 minute cleaning power hour. I'm actually gonna switch to the audiobook I'm listening to. That's for a different vlog I'm working on, but we're going to try and get everything cleaned up by two so that way I can make dinner. So I'm gonna let it simmer on the stove and then we're gonna do some fun bookish stuff this afternoon. So let's start the timer and get the house clean. That took me a lot longer to get done than I thought it was going to, but I'm totally fine with that. I was really into my audiobook and I just wanted to finish it, so I just kept cleaning and now my house is really clean. My husband is the cleaner. I do like things to be clean, but I don't think he's expecting to come home and see that like all of the toilets were scrubbed and all of the mirrors were cleaned and all that kind of stuff. So I think it'll help him just feel a little bit more relaxed when he gets home. Plus, I'm so happy that dinner's already on the stove. 
all I have to do is make some pasta when we're ready to eat, so I'll be able to enjoy the evening with the boys when they get home and not have to be in the kitchen. But here's the bookish project I wanna do with you guys. So I wanna say it was in like April or May, it was definitely in the spring, I got this pink cup from Five Below, and I had this idea to put romance book stickers on it and this could be my little like I'm reading my romance book you know like sipping my water and reading my book cup just like as a cutesy thing because I had started to buy stickers because I put stickers on my book card upstairs but I wanted to put them somewhere else the problem is I'm being super indecisive about what stickers I want to be on here and where I want them to be so what I'm going to do right now is just arrange them and put them in place with scotch tape. I'm gonna let it sit for like 24, 48 hours. Then we'll come back and I'll look and decide if I still like the placement of all of them, if I wanna move one around, anything like that. I have a sticker on my book cart and I really don't like where I ended up placing it, but I can't get it off and it is what it is. But I don't wanna have that same mistake with the cup. So that's my idea. So let me show you the stickers I have and we'll put them into three piles. Yes, I want it on the cup, maybe, and no, I don't. So, the Crawl to Me Club, this is from Ashley Nicole Shop. I will try and link, oh no, I can go back and look at my purchases. I will link all of these shops below if you want to get any of these stickers, but this I'm almost sure is Ashley Nicole's Crawl to Me Club. I like that, that's going to go on the cup. This is also from her shop, probably reading a small town romance. I definitely want that one on the cup. This shop, I can't remember where it's from, but it's Spank Me. That's the only way I learn. I know some people are over the Nasty Song by Russ, but I love it, so I grabbed that one. But I'm gonna put that in the maybe, but it probably will end up on the cup. I also got um, this, look at you, you're doing such a good job, and good girl, good girl, because when I originally was gonna make this cup, I was going to like use these to make a rust themed cup and then I moved away from that. I don't think I'll want two different stickers with him on the cup, but I'll put both in maybe because I'm not sure which one I'll want. Now this one, I like my books thrilling. I got this because I really only have stuff related to romance books and I do read a lot of thrillers, but I'm not going to use this one because this cup is pink. I think I want this to be a romance cup. And maybe if I can find more thriller stickers, we could get like a black cup or a gray cup and make a thriller cup. I know that's silly, but your girl likes cups. So maybe that'll be a future project. But for now, we're going to set this one aside. We're also going to set this one aside. I was so excited. Buster's library card. I was a huge Arthur girl growing up. Mega Arthur girl growing up. And my dog's name is Buster, and I was like, I have to have it. But I can't have a Buster library card next to Spank Me. Like, that doesn't feel right. So we're going to set that to the side. And then I have, this came in a Fit Teacher Rachel box, so I don't think I can link it. But I have this sticker. It was like a freebie. I'm not attached to it, so I'm going to put it in the no pile. And then my three stickers from, I think it's Pippi Post, that will also be linked below. We have Team Jess which I kind of want to put on my computer. So we'll put that one in the no. The library is calling and I must go. I can't decide if I want this to be on the cup or the cart. And then Life Short Talk Fast, that's a Gilmore Girl sticker. Okay, now I feel like maybe I don't have enough stickers. Which isn't a bad problem, it means I can go buy more. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're for sure going to start the cup in this vlog, but we're not going to finish it in this vlog because I now definitely want to buy some more stickers to fill the cup. So, let's just get a couple of them placed. So, the Crawl to Me Club, we're just going to put, like, right here for now, like, right in this upper section. And then, I think... Yeah, I'm not gonna put this sticker on the Ross one that says, Russ, I meant, that says, look at you, you're doing such a good job. I really like it, but I think the pink on pink is too hard to see. You know, for my husband, who's the only person that will look at this cup, I mean, I'll use it on social media. But I'm gonna do the darker one that says, good girl, good girl, because I think it just looks better on the cup. So I'm going to tape that on the back, like on the opposite side from where I put the Crawl to Me Club sticker. 
that piece of tape didn't work. And again, it looks really funky now because I'm not actually putting them down. I'm just kind of getting an idea of where I want them and this will help me visualize how many more stickers I need to buy. Okay, so we have Crawl To Me Club on this side, Good Girl, Good Girl on this side. Let's do Spank Me, that's the only way I learn. Down at the bottom, right above like that silver band that goes at the bottom. Let's tape it there for now. And then probably a small town romance. I think I'm gonna put it on the top again and maybe use it as like a space filler like that. But like I said, I'm going to go order a bunch of more stickers. So I, this one will probably be one that I move around to wherever I have a gap. So yeah, I'm glad that I'm not putting any of the others on here because I see the vibe I'm going for and it's not any of these. But she's so empty. Man, we need to shop on Etsy. <laughs> Speaking of Etsy, the last thing we're gonna do in this bookish part of this vlog is work on my journal. So in my September reset, we put this September page up, but I didn't have any stickers. So back in August, when I did my Hot Books Summer Reading Challenge, I had all these pretty stickers and I didn't have any for September. So I grabbed a pack, I'm just gonna decorate that. And then we'll do the series reviews in that uh, monthly reset vlog. But the thing I'm gonna put in now, I don't know if you guys care about this, but in case you're curious what I do for work, I work at a center for children with special needs and I work there part time. The other part of my career is making educational materials and I sell them on a website called Teachers by Teachers, which is just like Etsy. And there's like basically a job or business coach girl that I follow, Misty Miller, in case you happen to be in the same realm. And she was doing this like a seller challenge. It was, I thought, a really great price. It was $15, that was it. And what she's doing is pretty basic, but I think it's exactly what I need. It was $15, it lasts for 13 weeks, and every week you get a new challenge board with directions. So this one has five or four rows with five things per row. You choose one thing per row to do on in your store. And I just feel like this helps because sometimes I know I need to do stuff on my storefront. Like if you have an Etsy shop or anything like this, you'll understand. I know I need to do something, but I, I can't really figure out what to do or I have stuff that I never get around to doing that are really important. And so this will kind of push me to do that. And so like one of the things I'm gonna do off of this one was, um, what was it? Um, updating three of my product covers from really old products. So she's gonna put it on new one every week and I wanna put them in my notebook so that way I can track my progress over the 13 weeks. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this clip is just gluing this in and then adding some cute stickers because it's more fun if it's cute. Let's see if I can actually give you an update on the book without giving away the plot. So what I read last night, Theo gets really hurt and this like immense caretaker part of Maddie completely takes over and she's like, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to be right by your side. And I have to say like I've read the like person takes care of person plot many times but it's almost always the man taking care of the woman. Seeing the woman be like, I'm in control of this whole situation. I loved it. I loved how she was like, you need help. I'm the one to help you. And through that, she starts to realize, oh, wait, this is a little bit more than just like a situation ship or just uh, friends with benefits, except we're not really friends. I, I think I'm falling for him. Theo is having that same thought process. 
somebody else kind of picks up on it and kind of doesn't call Theo out, but just asks, like, is there something going on there? Theo knows that they're hiding the relationship, and so what he says back is is kind of mean. He never intends for Maddie to hear it. He's just trying to get that person to back off. Maddie happens to walk into his house because she has a key because she's taking care of him. She walks back into his house and overhears that. Obviously doesn't know. He's just saying that to protect her and she understandably gets really hurt. So that's where we're at right now. So it's it's kind of a miscommunication, but not really because like at no point did Maddie tell Theo like, hey, let's do this relationship for real and tell people. So when he's like caught off guard, he's like, no, I'm not supposed to reveal this. So let me go in the opposite direction. So I understand why he said what he said, although he didn't have to be so, you know, like harsh with the way he said it. But we have 15% left. I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up together. I mean, come on. Oh, there's no romance sticker on the side. Usually my library puts a heart. It's definitely a romance book. So I will finish it tonight and give you guys a review in the morning. But I, this whole series is amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. I love, love, love these books. They are, they've got steamy scenes, but it's not super explicit. It does use foul language. So if that's something that bothers you, just know that it doesn't bother me at all. I love these books. I wanted to give you a quick recap. I finished The Wedding Party. I absolutely loved it. I loved how Maddie and Theo came back together. So yes, my anyone could have made it hypothesis was correct. They do end up together and I just love how it all came together. The only thing I wish was I had a little bit more of a glimpse of them in the future. However, I got that in this one. I have read While We Were Dating since I stopped filming. It was a couple days ago and I kind of flew through this. But what's really nice is this book is about Theo. This book is about Ben, which is Theo's brother and they're close. So we see a lot of Theo and Maddie in this book. So that was nice, even though this is book three and this is book six. I had already read book four and five. So I was able to jump from Theo right to Ben and I almost got like that closure that I was looking for with this couple. Now, I liked since we, or while we were dating, I keep calling it since, I liked while we were dating, but this one involves a really famous movie star, and the way they come together is Ben is an ad campaign manager, and I have already forgotten her name, oh my gosh, Anna. Anna is a movie star who's gonna star in the ad, and so that's how they get to know each other. And so I did like, like how does a commoner get to be with someone famous? I did like that aspect, and I did like this book a lot, but interesting enough, Anna has an anxiety disorder, and I don't know, I didn't enjoy reading about it. I normally love reading about that kind of stuff because I have an anxiety disorder, and I like seeing that representation, but I just wonder if I just need a break, because it also was pretty steamy, which I do like steamy romance as well, but I wonder if I just need to read something different to mix it up that happens to me from time to time. That's a long way of saying I didn't love this book, but I still really liked it and I adore the entire universe. So if you have not dived into this series, highly recommend it. It's contemporary romance, a sprinkle of steam. It is there, but I would say that this is a little bit more, it's not closed door at all, but it's like maybe the door's ajar. That's the best way I can describe it. So like the steam is there, but it's not nearly as explicit of a lot of books that are out there. It would maybe last like three sentences, not like, you know, three pages or 10 pages, what you see in some books. So I feel like it's a great way if you already are a contemporary romance reader to kind of dip your toes into those spicy scenes and see if you like them. It is such a good series. All of the characters are black and I think that is fantastic representation. I just love her writing style. I have a couple of other books from her Mart, I want to go back and read them. I cannot recommend this series enough. It was so good. Don't mind me giving my co-star some treats right now. 
I hope you enjoyed Girls Weekend with Hobo. And what's so cool is the last time I did one of these, I only had her for about four weeks and she was really getting to know me at the time. She's so much more comfortable now. She spent a ton of time with me this time and I just feel like it's good bonding. I want her, this is just a random tangent at the end, I really want her to feel like she's part of the family. She had to move homes and families so often in the past two years that I want her to know that she is here for the remainder of her time. She is 16 years old, she's old. I don't know how much longer we have with her, but I feel like this weekend was just another little Thing that we could add to make her feel super included. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with us and we will catch you in the next vlog.